on the peak walk. Whoa. Yeah, bro. And you know something? Yeah, what? All the years that I lived here, and all the time that I've come to Hong Kong, I've never done this hike. What the hell? I know, right? Did you have brain surgery then? Uh, no, I didn't have brain surgery then, but, you know, I hadn't done it. But, you know, I used to live here, right, in the late 80s, and I worked for the newspaper here, the South China Morning Post. Yeah. Lam Job Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and I used to do all the scary stuff. Get AKs shoved in my throat. And Wait, AKs shoved in your throat? AK-47, yeah. Really? Yeah, in the Philippines, down in oh. Alo, in Cebu. You're joking. No? Why? <clears throat> There's lots of things you don't know about what your daddy used to do for Wait, work. Wait, why? Why did they <laughs> shove it down? Because we went to do a story on the uh, MN MNLF. What's that? The Mos Moro National Liberation Front, which was pretty much the first of the... Terrorists. Terrorists, yeah. And they used to hold everyone hostage, and we went down to do a story on them for it. And did they like that? They didn't care. They were after publicity, which is what those guys do. All of them do that. Really? Yep. Yeah. So you actually got... You got an AK-47 shoved down. Right here. Only for a split second. And then he laughed. Why? Because he wasn't going to do anything. But he was just letting me know. He didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, but it was pretty interesting. And I, I was worried that I was going to lose all my gear, so I only took one camera body and two lenses. I took uh, Nikon, Nikomat. Yeah. And uh, FT2, I think, or FT3. Yeah. And I also took uh, 135, 2.8, which was my favourite lens in those days. And Did I think a 35. Anything? No? <clears throat> no one stole anything? Were they nice? And, yeah, they were nice enough. And then we went and met with the... Um, with the uh, army general as well. Oh, yeah? And he told us a story about them all. And oh, tell me! Because there's a big belt through... What's it's a big Muslim area. It's a big belt through the islands in the southern Philippines. Oh, yeah? So and, tell uh, us what the story, the general. <clears throat> well, they were just at war. It was a civil war. They were fighting the... the, um, the rebels, and the rebels were fighting the army, and I think that... Although they'd rather not, they wouldn't have much to do if they didn't do it. Yeah, but who won? Then there's no winners in war, especially there. And I'm, and it's still a very dangerous place to go to this day. Philippines? Yeah, oh yeah, down the south of the Philippines, yeah, near Cebu and Olo. Very dangerous. But were the, the guys there uh, nice enough to, like, nice or like... Yes, they were nice enough. They let me take their photo and... They didn't get cranky or anything like that. And they only shoved an AK-47 in your throat. That's nothing. No, that's nothing. But I got some great photos. And uh, I'll have to show you one day. I don't know where they are. They're probably in my old portfolio. Oh, that's nice. But, yeah. It's cool, right? So, that's yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> So, that's one of the stories of um, when Daddy used to live here in Hong Kong. And, uh, Sick, bro. Yeah, right? Pretty cool. And next time you'll see Hunter interviewing Jason again. Yay, on Hunter's World or Daddy's World? On my world. Okay. Well, save up all the questions. Oh, it was so much fun living here. It was like being a rock star in the late 80s, is before the, the China took back Hong Kong. It was absolutely Smart reckless. Ass. Yeah. Anyway. We'll uh, get on with that. Maybe we'll get on to the film industry one day. Talk about that, hey? Mm-hmm. All right. See you next time. Ciao now. HBC, HBC JB. HBC JB.